When I was sick, when I was really sick, there was one thing that I missed the most. If you can guess the answers in this video, I will give you a shout out. <laughs> Hola! Y bienvenido a styling your lipstick. I went bougie today, bitches! This is Tom Ford, and I don't know the name of it because it rubbed off, but I will write it in my description box below. It is time for Zara Shuho. If there is one thing you need to know about me, is that I am a shoe freak. And that shit just rhymed. <laughs> Let's get into it, bitches. All right, first one are these beautiful boots. These are so sleek and sexy. I love them. They're beautiful. These cost $69.90, which is $70. They are super sleek and have like the sock effect. And it's not real leather. Like the heel, I believe it's like three inches and they're super comfortable. They are comfortable. I was like, okay, you know, I want to get some heels, but not heels that, you know, it's going to make it difficult to walk around and do whatever I want to do, but they're very comfortable. The arch here is not super high. They're sleek. They look sexy. They run to the size. This is a size nine, which is a 40 European. If you have trouble sliding things up your feet, I would suggest you don't get something like this because these don't have zippers. They don't have anything that makes it easier to slide up your leg or your feet rather so if that's something that you normally have a hard time with then I suggest at least go into store and try and try them out to see if it's something that's comfortable for you they slid up with no problem with no hesitation on me I love it once I wore them they were actually sexier than I expected if you're looking for that sleek look these have that sleek sexy elongated type of look I actually am really surprised and really happy I got these in my collection I don't have anything this simple sometimes your wardrobe calls for something a little bit simpler and these are right up my alley aren't these cute right now? next are these big mamba jumbas this thing is bigger than my whole upper body i mean they look big but this is actually a size 9 40 again european that is my exact size ironically these actually are harder and i think it's just more the fabric the the material is more rubber so it's just a harder material so these are the type of boots that you need to break in but once you break them in it's pretty much true to your size it's just that they're harder overall now these are a play on the biggest thing for last winter and this winter and for many winters to come i hope and even if it's not trending i'm still gonna wear what i have in my collection why i don't make my life these cost 129 dollars now they look beautiful they're great but to be honest with you i mean 130 dollars for zeros i didn't even know they go up that high when it comes to shoes so i was a little bit shocked to be honest with you i put them on and i think they look fabulous my opinion like if i want to get white boots you know they're going to get dirty right away so i don't want to spend that much on a pair of boots but these are hot if it doesn't bother you if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable they have a combat style punk type of boot look then these is definitely something i would suggest because they do look great if you are weary about your feet looking wider and bigger then i wouldn't suggest this because this type of boot has a tendency to make your feet look wider and bulkier i'm a size nine but my feet are narrow and they look thin but with these they look like i was wearing my husband boots <laughs> But it doesn't bother me. I don't really care about it. If as long as it looks beautiful and I like the style, then it's fine. But the only thing that did kind of shock me was the fact that they're $130. But these are super cute if you're looking to get punk look in white. <sighs> Next is these other pair of ankle boots. These cost $60, $59.90. These are somewhat similar to the first ones but this one is more forgiving in the event that you do have issues with your ankles or that's just a little thicker or give you issues and just sliding things on because this one has the zipper and heel part has this more deconstructed type of look here and it has a metal type of effect which gives it a more dressier vibe the material here is satin it's sleek again it's beautiful so i would suggest these if you're looking for something more party as type of vibe holidays are rolling around these are 70 bucks they're not as bad these are also comfortable they're true to size it's a size nine 
or European. I don't have any issues with these and I love them to be honest with you. Now do I need to keep them both? No. I am kind of like low-key leaning on the first one only because the first one I can wear every day as well as going out with it and I feel like I will get more bang for my buck. Oh my god. I was so surprised to see these as arrows because these look luxe to me and you know how I get when I see something bougie and luxurious. Calm down baby. This is a true daisy because it's so fashion forward. It's sleek. It's not your standard type of cowboy boot. I mean it has these, I don't know what you call them, wings? If you can see the details like this part here comes out more. It's so sexy and cool. I love the effect of these. I love that it has a kitten heel so again I can wear these like every day. These are also a little bit harder. They're also a little bit narrow in the front because I have narrow feet and they're kind of like right on the cusp for me. But let me tell you I'm kind of used to suffering when it comes to shoes because your girl just loves shoes. As long as I don't get any corners on my feet I'm good. Did I just say that out loud? Break time Daisy. You need a break. <sighs> Sadly these cost $199 and it's killing me because I really love these. I'm trying to convince my husband if I should keep it, but we're like trying to save for a lot of things now. So it's difficult, but I really want these and it's killing me because I think they look so fab. Again, I didn't know Zara's went up that high and it's leather. It better be leather for $199, right? This is awesome. I don't know what the hell is going on with my life to be honest with you, but it's kind of like annoying me today because it's going dark and it's going light and I belong in the light. And lastly, such a vibe, right? Like, look at this color. I don't have anything in my collection this color. This is giving me Stella McCartney vibes. This is giving me Chloe vibes. Those shoes that they came out with that is all rubber on the bottom and leather on the top. These are a fabulous find. They're a little bit heavy, but when I put them on, I really feel the difference, to be quite honest with you. These cost $199 as well. What is going on with Zaros? I feel like Zaros is getting more expensive, but then again, we're going into an inflation or we are in inflation. I don't know. Everything is just going up, but our wallets, right? Oh, this video became something else. Welcome to Styling Your Politics. These are so fab. If you're looking for that more rugged, but still stylish and fashionable and a different color type of boot or ankle boot and this is one I would highly recommend when I put these on I was like oh my god it's almost the color of my legs I don't know if that was a good thing or, or not because this looks yellow so it looks like I have jaundice okay Daisy focus so yeah these are cute oh my god but you know 199 dang. if I had to pick my favorites I would say it would be the first one the sleek one the cowboy effect one and then pumpkins. Which one is your favorite and which one are you planning to get? Let me know down below. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Let me know if you like this type of video. Subscribe and embark on a more magical and sparkly stylish lifestyle. What the fuck was all that? Smash that notification bell so you won't miss out on my next video.